Hey, Shalonda Gordon here, also known as the Online Marketing Angel, and we are in our Single Moms Making Money Tips series, and we are on tip number 17, okay? Tip number 17, and we're talking about how to come from the 97% and get over to the 3%, and the 3%, guys, in case you missed the first one of this series, is, is pretty much where they own, they, they control majority of the money, the, well, all the money in the world, pretty much, the 3% does, but there's a way they think. There's a way they think that we might not be thinking sometimes. And and I am striving to become the 3%, right? Move into the 3% for my finances, for my family. I, I would like to leave a legacy for my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, right? So here we go. Let's continue on this journey, shall we? Okay, so tip number 17, guys. The 3%, they stand for what is right in the face of adversity. They stand for what is right in the face of adversity. The 97% change their minds depending on who is listening. Hmm. 97% change their minds depending on who is listening. Whereas the 3%, right? The 3% stand for what is right in the face of adversity. I have an example of this. Now, this is single moms, right? We're single moms pretty much. Some of you might not be single moms, and this can work for you as well. But my example is based on being a single mom. I'm a single mom, and I'm I'm single I'm a single mom as well as I'm single in relationship. Like I'm not with, I don't have a boyfriend or I really don't date. I really don't too much see the purpose of that. So I, um, I follow different guidelines. You know, I practice abstinence. So I'm not giving up the cow before it's purchased. You know, I'm waiting on my husband that will come from God. And I believe that, that God, that my husband is in communion with the Lord Therefore, my husband knows exactly who I am and where I am, and I don't have to be anywhere that God hasn't told me to be because my husband will find me when I'm where God told me to be because he's going to God to get to me. This is what I believe. I had a conversation a few years back because um, I've been in this place for a while, a few years back, and I had a friend tell me, you know, well, you're going to stay alone. You're always going to be single because you're just not willing to compromise. You're just not willing to, to date. I don't talk to men after dark. Okay, now I'm just telling y'all a few facts. I, I refuse to talk to men after dark unless you're my father. I have two, I have a father and stepfather. So I have two dads and I have a brother. I talk to them after dark. My pastors, I have uh, my board of directors, I call them. I have a few male pastors who are married and their wives speak into my life as well. If they needed to speak to me and it was dark, that would be something else, but normally they don't. So ultimately, I don't talk to, to dudes after dark. And I've, I've been that way for a grip for a second. And honestly, it helps me tell which guys really are for me and which aren't. Because those who try to talk me out of it, and, and hint, hint, if any are watching this, that just shows me that you can really care less about me. Honestly, because you don't respect what I'm doing. Now, ladies, this is just me. This is what I do. Now, you have to know, I come up against a lot of adversity because of these decisions I've made, right? Ultimately, there's... A science to it there's a reason why my ears are sensitive I don't need to be listening to no dude talking in my ear after dark I practice abstinence there's there's things I have to do to live a life of purity I can't I can't do one thing and expect to be pure over here because ultimately everything is gonna fall in place and I'm gonna end up not being pure you see what I'm saying so in order to remain and keep my integrity and remain celibate I have rules and guidelines in place to protect myself I had my girlfriend tell me, you are going to be single. I mean, how you ain't going to talk to no dudes after dark? When you going to talk to them? And I'm thinking to myself, last I checked, there were lots of hours of daytime, like maybe even more than there are night. Because most of the nighttime I'm asleep anyway, right? But I'm up all day. So why you can't talk to me during the day? Why you got to talk to me at night? You know, and it was a thing of, well, most people work. Most people work and they can't talk during the day. You know, whatever. Everybody got a lunch break. There's morning. I mean, really? Really? So, and then it was, well, you're just going to be alone because you're not willing to compromise. So because I'm not willing to play house, because I have daughters and I'm trying to raise women, now I'm compromising. Like, literally, this has been an area of my life where I've had to stand in the in the face of adversity. Stand there. 3% style. You know what I'm saying? I must admit, when I read that, when I was like, ooh, ooh, I'm there. That's what's up, Right? versus saying you know what because of what they were saying and not wanting to be the oddball out being like oh you're right i think i'll talk to guys after dark now i think i'll just throw out all my beliefs and do what you're doing which is in my eyes kind of settling not really knowing your worth 
giving up everything without not one commitment. Now, some of you are offended by what I'm saying. And if you are, I'm probably talking to you, right? Don't get offended at me. Don't try to blame me because of the poor decisions that are being made. What are you showing your children? Why don't you think you're worth a commitment? Don't look at me. <laughs> don't, you know, you might, you might already uh, clicked off the video because you so ticked off. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? If you actually were trying to change and you're still watching the video, instead of looking at me steadily getting angry and angry, like I can't believe her, I can't believe her, because that's what the enemy does. He tries to trick you so that you won't come back and you won't get free, right? But if you're one that's really tired of being tired of being tired and you want to change and you want to know how to do it, ask yourself, why do you feel you're not worth it? It's a hard question. I haven't always been able to stand here with this kind of confidence and this kind of clarity. I've been in that place too where I had to ask myself the hard questions, but I'm going to tell you something. I was more willing to ask myself the hard questions than stay in that hell any longer. Any longer, there comes a time when you have to say, you know what, forget this. I'm going to do the thing that's uncomfortable because this is unacceptable. You don't have to settle. You don't have to give up everything, who you are inside, just to have companionship. Focus on something else. That's what I do. You know, and honestly, it ain't even that hard. Really. Once on this, okay, okay, let me, let me be clear. On this side of things, it's not that hard. Like at the beginning, okay, it wasn't all that easy, but but now it's now I've pressed, 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 you know. And then the idea is to connect yourself and surround yourself with individuals with the same mindset that you're striving to get into. Okay, so you're like, well, do you hang out with your homegirl? Yeah, I talked to my homegirl that said it to me, you know, honestly. People are in their own place. I, I love, I love my friends, I love my peoples, you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, they're in their own place. It doesn't dictate what I do. Do I spend every waking second around them? No, obviously not. How can, I can't, you know, I mean, I guess I could honestly where I'm at today, but at that point when I was transitioning, when I was making a decision and walking out that decision, I couldn't, I couldn't be around that all the time. You know, and honestly, when I left that conversation, it was, it was two to one. So I had two homegirls coming at me, telling me what I couldn't do and what I was going to get and how alone I was going to be like bombarding me my friends, right? Because I'm deciding to live a life of abstinence and not play games with dudes and offer something that I'm not willing to give. I'm not going to toy with dudes. I don't want you in my ear at night. I don't want you in my life. If you can't respect me, I'm raising daughters and I want them to know better. That's more important to me than me having companionship of a man who don't give a crap of what I res or, or respect me about what I'm trying to do. I mean, it's, if you really look at the truth, it's not that hard, right? It's just if you living in delusion, you don't see the truth. This is just my view of things too, keep in mind. This is my view. This is what works for Shalanda. Now, what works for you might be different, but I challenge you to say if you find yourself falling, you might have to cut some things out. So I tried to talk in to dudes after dark, but I kept falling. So I cut it out and guess what? When I cut it out, I stopped falling. I'm just saying, for me, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? So with my two friends, when I left there, yeah, I did feel kind of wounded. I did feel kind of beat up. But then I called one of my board of directors, one of my pastors, and I told them what had happened. And she built me back up because I had somebody in my life that knew the truth and knew me and loved me. Just like my friends love me. They just love me. They don't. They love me from a different perspective. Right. So so the truth is, she. I called my pastor. She she spoke life back into me and edified me back to that place of where I was again sure that I'm doing the right thing. And today I'm more sure than I've ever been. I see the lives of what's taking place. I see the things that happen and I'm like, whew, you know, I'm thankful. I'd rather be over here. I'd rather be over here. OK, so just just so we're clear. All right. Just so we're clear, the 3% stand in the face of adversity for what is right. The 97% change their mind depending on who is listening. Change their mind depending on who is listening. You want to get to that 3%? This one right here isn't always that easy because this one right here affects people. You know most of the people you're surrounded by, right? So, you know, there needs to be a transitional time for that. 
I, I know, I know it can be difficult. Sometimes you might feel like you're alone and like you're the only one that, that understands why you're making the decisions you're making. That's the reason why I challenge you to click the link, Single Moms with Shalonda, because you're not alone. You're not the only one. You're not. You're really not. And regardless of what people try to make it seem like, there is a truth. And usually the truth is hidden, you know, especially with the propaganda and everything on TV today. But that, that's a whole nother video. Ultimately, make a decision. Are you going to stand for what is right in the midst of adversity, like the 3%? Are you going to change your mind depending on who's listening? And really look around and see what you're currently doing. Because I would be willing to say most of sometimes you do one and sometimes you do the other. Right? Depending on who's around. You know, I, I tend just not to speak if I'm in the midst of individuals where I would have to change because of who's listening. Just don't say none at all. Right? So have an amazing day. Click the link. Realize you're not alone. Let's go ahead and make these changes, guys. Let's move forward. Let's move out of this place we've been in. It's, it's what, November? The end of November after Thanksgiving in 2012? If you're watching this video right now in this year, even if you're watching it in 2013, I mean, it's time for a change. And you can change. Have an amazing day and keep smiling.